Hello and welcome back to IASTEC. Implementing an idle timeout in Angular 17 involves several steps including setting up a service to track user activity and triggering actions when the user becomes idle. So let's look into the detailed guide on how to implement this. First of all, let us generate a service in your app. So open the terminal in the root directory of your project and run this command and you generate service idle this would generate a service with the name idle okay in your idle service let's import observable subject and other necessary rxjs tools and this service will track user activity and emit events when user becomes idle or inactive so let's do that further we need subject and interval okay also we need throttle from rxjs operators now i will define some properties these are going to be private idle subject is equal to new subject boolean and then timeout would be 600 and private last activity type would be date now add private idle check interval is equal to 10 so this is interval to check for idleness in seconds next we are going to have a private idle subscription okay and after that in the constructor i'm going to call two functions one is reset timer that we will define shortly and also this dot start watching that would be defined shortly as well now we need to create a getter get idle state observable boolean and in that i will return this dot idle subject as observable after that i will define a function start watching so here i will use this dot idle subscription is equal to interval and in that interval function i will pass this start idle check interval and i will multiply it with thousand and here i will call the pipe function on it so in that pipe function i will pass the execution of the throttle function and within that throttle function i will pass a callback function and then finally i will subscribe to this and in the subscribe function i will pass a callback function within that that callback function i will create a property a variable of date object and then i will check if now dot get time minus or subtract this dot last activity dot get time is greater than this dot timeout thousand multiplied by thousand and here i will call this dot idle subject dot next true okay next i am going to define the function reset timer and this dot last activity is equal to new date and this dot idle subject dot next false so this line would mean that user is active now we will define our last function that is stop watching and in that function i will check if this dot idle subscription is truly then simply this dot idle subscription dot unsubscribe it so now i will quickly uh, explain some things in this file so that you have better understanding so first property that we have is idle subject so this is basically a subject that will emit a boolean value indicating if the user is ideal and then we have timeout the duration in seconds this would be the duration in seconds after which the user is considered idle and let me put a comment here seconds next we have the last activity property so this is a date object to track the last time the user was active and then we have idle check interval so this is the interval in seconds at which to check if the user is idle or not then we have idle subscription this is a subscription to manage the observable created for checking idleness then we have a constructor in that constructor we are resetting timer and uh, starting the watching so this constructor is called when the service is instantiated it calls reset timer to initialize the last activity date and start watching to the to begin monitoring for user idleness next we are defining the getter so this getter method provides observable for other components or services to subscribe to in order to receive updates about the user's idle state next we have the start watching function so this method basically sets up an observable that emits the value at intervals defined by the idle check interval and here we are basically passing the throttle function execution 
Uh, this will basically limits how often the checks occur to prevent excessive computation computations or updates and then within the within the subscription it checks if the current time minus the last record last recorded activity time exceeds the defined timeout if it does it emits true via idle subject indicating the user is idle then we have the reset timer function this method resets the last activity to current time indicating the user has performed an action it emits false through the idle subject signaling the user is active and then we have the stop watching function this method stops the idle checking by unsubscribing from idle subscription it is used for cleanup typically for the service is no longer needed or the app is shutting down this service effectively provides a way to monitor user activity and determine idleness which can be used for various purposes like auto logging out users saving work or other idle related actions in angular application next let's move on to the app component.html we will update it so very first thing is that we are going to inject the idle service in our component so i will use the inject function to get it so in your app component or any other component where you want to track the idleness you just inject the idle service that's it now let's listen for the idle events we will subscribe to idle state observable from the idle service to get notified when the user becomes idle let's create a constructor or maybe let's implement the own init and within that i will use this dot idle service dot idle state dot subscribe and now i will check if user is idle then we will show user is idle if it is not then we will tell that user is active we can here in this if user is idle we can perform actions on idle for example showing a warning or log out the user i will also implement my lifecycle hook method ng on destroy but let me add it here as well okay actually we need to save the subscription as well so to check if it was subscribed so that we could clear that subscription on destroy of the component okay now i will save the subscription in that property okay now i will check if this dot idle subscription is available then we will simply unsubscribe to it next i will create a function on user action so this function will reset the timer on user actions so i will simply call the reset timer function on our idle service now let's go to our html and uh, here we will listen for the user activities so in your uh, components template or globally add the event listener for user activities like mouse movements clicks or key press and we will simply call the on user action from these event handlers to reset the idle timer now here let's add this event mouse move and on user action and similarly on click we will again call the on user action and then on key press we will again call the same function so now let's give it a uh, give it a quick try so open the inspect element and console it so you can see in the console it is showing that user is active whenever i hover my mouse it detects that user is active and every time it resets the counter in the idle service so right now we have too many seconds so we can't wait for that much time so i will decrease that to maybe 10 seconds and then we will see if that triggers the idle status of the user so let's wait for it i'm not moving i'm just waiting for it okay you can see we got a log message that user is idle so at that time you can do your logic you can implement your logic maybe showing a warning or maybe redirecting user to the login page and log them out so things uh, those kind of things can happen i will reduce the time out to two test to two seconds so so that it could quickly show now i will wait for two seconds and after two seconds you will immediately notice that idle log okay so when the user is detected as idle you can implement various actions such as showing a warning model logging out the user saving the current state or any other business logic so this implementation provides a basic structure for idle timeout functionality in angular you can further enhance this by adding more sophisticated event listeners differentiating between idle and timeout states and integrating with user authentication and state management systems i hope that this video was helpful for you please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and click on 
on the bell icon to get notified for my upcoming videos also please like and share this video if you have any questions or feedback or suggestions then please leave them in the comment section so that i could reply to you as soon as possible thanks for watching see you next time